Good morning. Steph here with my magic healing. It is a beautiful Monday. We just came through the 1212 portal yesterday. So I don't know about you guys, but I finally feel like lifted energy. Like last month was super crazy. This month I just, I have like, just a knowing like everything's gonna be okay. And it is because that's the frequency that I'm putting my energy into and it's doing the work and it's showing up. So this morning I wanted to come on here for a collective reading to see what the energy for the week is. We have a full moon in Gemini coming up on Saturday. We have Venus going retrograde on Sunday. <laughs> and I mean, if you guys are anything like me, like my Venus is in Cancer, so it's all the emotions. But I'm wanting to accept that. All right. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so I am actually using, uh, today I am using Lightworker Oracle, as well as Secret Language of the Animals. Absolutely love these decks. So the first card that popped out is Star Child, which is an eight. And so eight is the infinity symbol. It's all about abundance, manifestation. You are the star child. You are born of the stars. So at night you go back home, you visit, you're very, very connected into the cosmos. And tuning into that, we allow ourselves, this is who you truly are, right? You are the star child. And so, we also got Initiation by Water, which is a 23, which rolls down into a 5, because 2 plus 3 is 5, and this 5 is all about change, and Initiation by Water is like, this card is all about clearing things out, right? And then next, we follow it with Past Life Activation, which is a 35, which is again another 8, and so... Initiation, what these show me is this is who you truly are and the path that you are on, you are clearing the way through past life activation to come back into who you are. But you have to, this card right here, Initiation by Water is like, it talks about if you have a glass of water with sediment at the bottom, right? You can see through the water, the sediment settles, right? And you can see through the water, it's fairly clear, right? But if you stir up the cup, the sediment brings up to the surface and then you can't see it. It's like mudded, it's, it's muddy water, right? And so, but then if you clear that sediment out, the water becomes clearer than what it was before. And so it's this process of we're clearing the sludge. So we're clearing the conditionings. We're clearing the toxic beliefs, the toxic patterns, the toxic cycles, right? So that we can come home to who we are as a star child, being of the stars. And past life activation, this here is like, Sometimes if you've, have you ever had a trigger or a trauma or like a, an experience, a negative emotion come up and you reflect on your like this present life and don't understand or can't connect where that trauma could have come from. That's because some of our traumas come from past lives. So through past life activation, when you go into those past lives and you heal those traumas and you tune into different aspects of your being, 
it all helps you put the puzzle pieces together of who you are. And so, you know, I, I love doing what I do because I, I do that myself, right? And like, I've gone all the way back into like my first life in Atlantis, you know, and I had a trauma and it was funny because when I was talking to my bestie in the summer, when it was all coming up, right, it very much was, it made a lot of sense. Because I, in that life, I was kidnapped, I was tortured, I was mutilated, I was beaten, I was raped. Like, it's not a fun experience, right? But carrying a lot of trauma in this life, I had no idea. Like, I mean, I had some, like, and subservient and, you know, not feeling like I could speak my truth or, you know, different things like that. But at the same time, it very much was the process of me going back through that life and having an experience to heal and release it opens me up in this life for so much more. And I've, I've, I've grown so much in who I am, how I show up, how I'm seen, my, my radiancy, my self-knowing, my trust, my communication and connection to spirit like all of these things have amplified and so through going through this past life activation I allowed myself to open up to the gifts that I carry in this life to help me show up for my clients for the people at my store like my company, my staff, like myself, my family, my friends, um, you know, opening up to dating again and bringing fun back into it as opposed to, you know, feeling like, oh my God, and I can't, and how can I? And never being afraid of what exactly may or may not happen, right? And so we follow it with, Okay, so these are the animals that we are to embody this week. So this here is like, and this all makes sense because with the full moon coming up, right? And Gemini is an air sign. So it's all about the mentalism. It's the thoughts. It's the programs, right? And allowing ourselves to, when we can tune in and reprogram our minds and shift our thought processes and our mindsets, we drastically shift our life, right? And so it's opening yourself up, clearing out the sediment, activating into the light and the magic that is you because you're worth it. And you know what? We've got the sea turtle and the orange-bellied parrot, okay? So the sea turtle is all about beginnings, self-reliance, journey, home. Coming home to self coming home <clears throat> to love coming home to embracing the new beginning and trusting yourself because everything that you need is within you and the orange-bellied parrot <clears throat> is all about radiance, expression, communication, acceleration. So this here is communicating how you're feeling, right? Radiance is shining your light, so standing in your power, being in your confidence, trusting yourself, knowing yourself, right? And acceleration the higher you vibe, the faster shit happens. Like instant manifestation, guys, is actually a thing. You got to be open to trusting in it. And you have to also know and trust that instant manifestation happens because you're open to receiving the abundance of the universe and yourself because you show up. And it's because it's divine perfect timing. It is in alignment with what you are creating. 
and allowing yourself to open up to that because you are the light and the radiancy of your own life and your own world. And I hope this resonates. Have a blessed and beautiful and magical day. And bye guys.